Uh, it is a bit of a shame that I did try risking at the Blue Dragons. I was using um, the Magic Shortbow and my Iron Arrows just to basically sort of stay back and range them from afar, but that didn't work out too well. I did bring an Anti-Fire Shield, but um, that didn't work out too well. So I'm going to have to go get buy some more stuff and head back to Blue Dragons. See, this is this PVM Jessica. Well, I'm trying to buy the red dehyde set. This is kind of what I want to look like. This girl right here. Remember that old look with the uh, with the Slayer helm, the Dragonfire shield, the full banners, Fury, D boots. But she could she could be wearing a better cape. But you know, I'll let her go because she's only level 107. But that's I guess the ultimate goal is to look like that. That would be pretty. I don't even know what. I'm not quite sure what that staff is though. But yeah, so that's basically what I want to look like. Okay, so seeing. As I uh, wasn't very successful with regard to killing blue dragons, I'm currently getting myself my hands on a the dog. What is it? The dogish bow, or whatever it's called. And in order to get the bolts, I know you don't need to complete the lost tribe quest, but it, the bolts are a lot cheaper if you do this quest. They're only between, between three and eighteen GP each. Um, so that's going to be fantastic if I get those. And um, so I'm going to quickly scroll through this text right now, and I should be able to. There we go. So three thousand mining experience. Will that get me a level? Nope. But yeah, so now I'm going to get the ability to um, buy the, uh, I guess, the Bone Bolt, and then I'll be able to use the Dorgish Kun Bow thing, whatever it's called. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I'm going to get the boats real quick. Here we go, we've got Nardok now. I'm going to grab me some... Oh, how much is one of these? I bought my bow for 80, no, 21k, and I could have bought it for 2k here. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to, I just, uh, all right, well, I'm going to try and make some profit off those. I'm going to quickly buy some of these bone bolts right now. It's going to take me a little while to buy all of these, but, oh, well, I mean, it'll be cheaper to buy them here than it will be to buy them off players, so I guess it'll save me a little bit of money. Let's see how much they are now. 11 coins, and they started at three, but, you know, it's not really much of an, um, much of an investment, but, you know, they're definitely worthwhile, but I can't believe I spent 21k on the Dorgish Sebo. When it's two, when it's two k here, that's forty four Slayer. That's one step closer to my fifty five Slayer. Um, now the good thing about doing these Blue Dragons tasks, I guess, I'm getting a lot of range experience as well as my hit points experience, and I'm getting, I guess, Slayer experience. I'm not quite sure if I just said Slayer experience, but I'm getting Slayer experience as well, which is pretty good. I've died once, so I've only lost a little bit of money, but I'm probably gonna sell the Blue Dragon hide uh, leather. And I'm um, use the dragon bones to get my uh, prayer up a little bit. Now, I'm still debating whether to sell the dragon bones or use them because I'm I kind of do want you know 70 prayer in the long run, but I'm not sure if it's more beneficial for me to sell them now and save money up um, you know for that for that extra prayer XP. But I'm not quite sure. I'll make that decision soon. But I should be back with you very shortly. And would you look at that? Would you look at that? Literally, the kill after I got the 44. Slayer, I got 63 range. Nothing special, but it's just a little bit of a coincidence that I did manage to get them pretty much back to back, so that's always nice. That is 65 hit points. Uh, one step closer to 99, I guess. Currently still doing the Blue Dragons task. 2.5k or 2.436k until I hit 45 Slayer. And um, I've got about 30 Blue Dragons to go, so I'm going to be selling the Bones and, and the Dragon Hunts just to get me a little bit more money. Um, just so I can buy more supplies and more armor so that I, I can continue slaying and stuff like that. But it's going quite well, so I'll check with you soon. And there we have it, 45 slay. Let's see what we can do with this. We can now kill Infernal Mages. Um, you know, nothing too special there. Still climbing up the ranks here. But this will be my last inventory of Blue Dragon, Blue Dragons, Blue Dragons. Um, and then I'll be able to get myself a new task from Cheerleader. And then we'll see, I guess we'll see how it goes from there. So that is task complete. But before I leave here, I'm going to quickly kill another Blue Dragon to um, just basically, oh, mate, I might kill two more blue dragons just to fill, fill up my inventory with um, just bones and hides, just to make me that little bit of extra money. Um, so that's, what, 13 tasks in a row now, not too bad. You know, it's not too much, but, you know, I haven't been doing it for very long, so I am progressing quite nicely. I'm going to quickly go grab myself another task, and I'm calling Hill Giants. And we get 131 trolls. That's a bit of a troll, isn't it? Um, but hopefully you enjoyed episode 2 of The Prime. I'll be seeing you at episode 3 very shortly. That's a very bad outro. Goodbye.